Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. Now this is the Warhammer Wednesday video I was meant to upload today and, and give you the review of the Space Marine Blood Angels start collecting box set. Normally it's £50 if you want to buy everything separate. I mean even if you spend £50 it's still going to save you almost 40 quid. It'll be 30 something pound that it's going to save you. If you want to get the 25% discount then it's going to cost you £37.50 which is still a bargain because you get Terminator Captain. He's essentially Captain Carleen or Carleen from the um, Shield of Baal box set that came out in December 2014 I think he's 22 quid something like that you get a Blood Angels tactical squad which is three quid more than your normal tactical squad so it's 28 quid I think and then you get a Baal Predator you know you can equip him with the heavy bolters on the sponsons or a twin linked assault cannon on the top or if you're magical you can just work your magic with magnets and swap out the flamestorm cannon with the twin linked assault cannons up to you. Let's break down all of the models straight away. The only thing I made in the start collecting box set is the bar predator. I didn't have time to, to make the others but I just thought I'd get you this video out as quick as possible and give you my review. So this is the same model in the shield of Baal, this terminator captain and um, they're now calling him just a blood angels terminator captain. Uh, I think that's what it says on his sort of separate box as well. He's a decent model. Uh, I like him. He's got a Storm Bolter and a Thunder Hammer. Doesn't have a Storm Shield, unfortunately, but obviously he's got his Iron Halo and then he's got his pretty much have his 4 plus and vulnerable and then 2 plus standard save. So, just to recap, model wearing Cataphracti Eye Terminator armor with an Iron Halo. He's got his 2 plus normal and his 4 plus and vulnerable. And to represent the overlapping energy fields projected from both of the shield generators, you can re roll invulnerable saving throws of a 1. As found in this little Angels of Death Codex supplement. I just thought I'd mention that because it'll be a topic that might come up again in the next week or so because if you've seen the rumours and things, Games Workshop are putting up for pre-order this weekend all of the Betrayal at Calth units and they're quite highly priced. I think they're trying to sell the Contempt for £35 even though it's sort of like two sprues and you can't pose it. I mean I understand they're not trying to cut into into their own sort of sub company Forge World, but really, if you're gonna spend £35, just, just buy the Forge World one, it's my best advice. Or even don't buy any of the separates, just buy Betrayal of Calf box sets and, and buy two or three of them because what will happen is they'll run out and then the only way you can get your plastic 30k marines will be through getting them separately. I just thought I'd mention that because it'll be a bit of a topic um, shortly. But Terminator Captain, I really like him. It's a great looking model. Tactical squad, it's just your normal tactical squad, but it's a few quid more expensive because it's got a lot of Blood Angels sort of iconography, things like that. Um, this is the same unit that I built when they came out a year and a half ago. So I've just got the veteran sergeant with a grav pistol, power sword. Blood Angels comes with a nipple armour, comes with these really nice helmets, um, different sort of banners, different shoulder pauldrons, different legs in a lot of the cases. Um, I think all the legs are pretty much different so yes it's a little bit more expensive but you really are getting Blood Angels sort of specific iconography and things. Also this set comes with a heavy flamer and a heavy bolter whereas your normal tactical box set only comes with a missile launcher I think so you're getting your two um, heavy weapons. I like that sort of armour too. Again different legs, looks really decent. This dude yeah, got some Blood Angels pieces again on the and the power packs. I must say, power packs. They've got some look at that Blood Angels iconography. This dude's pretty cool. Even the even your power gloves, even the Corvex sort of helmet has some teardrops. The bolt guns too. I got this guy with the grav gun. Even the knight inspired helmet has a blood drop. Great uh, shoulder pauldrons. Look at that with that on the top. Incredible. And so on and so on. You even get your dude reload into like a Blood Angels bolt gun. Really nice. That's the tactical squad. And then finally the sort of centerpiece itself in this box set. This is really why you're spending your £37 so that you can get a £30, £30 £35 um, 
uh, tank in it. And yeah, before you say you should have put heavy bolters and things, if you've seen my collection videos, things like that, you'll know that I have a massive army and I'm on my journey to collect a chapter along with the Titan Legion and a sort of Mechanicum sort of detachment. So you'll know that I don't play a lot of games, so I don't really make the models to be that competitive. Nowadays I'll build the models because I've got many versions of them and I just like that particular look of it. I've never had a Bile Predator with uh, heavy flame responses and that is the reason why I've chosen it. I like these extra guards here for the intakes or whatever they are and the heavy flamer turrets they move uh, up and down they rotate. I like the iconography I like the inferno cannon really nice looking beefy heavy flamer type of weapon on top of there AP3 remember so that'll be cooking Space Marines you could proxy it as a Predator Inferno it's nothing to stop you there obviously you can't have a Magna Melter on there you get quite a few of these which you could put on buildings or knights or whatever um, sort of like Blood Angels iconography uh, the turret itself gone, just gone for a pinnacle mounted heavy bolter but you can go for a but you could put smoke launchers on him somewhere if you manage to fit it somewhere on here you could put a smoke launcher on the turret Pontacular missile comes with um, the rear hatch opens and um, probably spray in there and then paint it and whatnot. So yeah, I really, really like the tank. Always wanted one of these new plastic um, bile predators. On that bombshell, because I've already got there uh, this Terminator Captain, I will be uh, giving away the spare one. I won't cut him off the sprue. I'll keep him on the sprue and I'll just post him anywhere in the world and just have him as, as like a giveaway. I'll put details on that in the next few weeks or so. And I'll probably do with that uh, do that with the betrayal at Calf in a couple of months. I've got the the chaplain and the Terminator uh, captain. I'll I'll put them up as a giveaway. Yeah, I could sell them. That's a fair fair point. But I just want to give something back, and I ca I can't give knives. I can't send knives through the post. There's no guarantee that the person on the other end is 18. So if you have enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, what do you think of the box set? Which ones are you gonna pick up? I might pick up the Imperial Guard one. I might pick up the Tyranid one. Who knows? I'm not sure whether they're going to do any more, but, uh, but there we go. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.